Hi, I'm Emma Whaley, but you might know me as Healthy Emma from Facebook, Instagram, or YouTube. And today I wanted to congratulate you on taking our 90 Day Diamond Challenge. Woohoo! Um, so, what's a diamond? What does that mean? Where, what's the goal? Um, a diamond in Beach Body is when you have four active coaches on your right side and your left side, and one out of those four is an active emerald coach as well. The average diamond gets paid between $500 and $1,000 per week. That's according to the 2012 um, statistics. But of course, that's gonna depend on you and what you wanna put into this business and how well you're growing your team and helping them to grow as well. So, um, the first week of this Beachbody 90 Day to Diamond Challenge, I wanna focus on, um, well at first I wanted to focus on go for no. That's a common term in sales. Um, but I decided not to, and here's why. I like the concept of go for no in the sense that when somebody says no, you're not deflated, you expect the no and you are okay with the rejection because you understand it doesn't mean no, it simply means not right now, I'm not ready for it right now, hit me up later. Um, but that's I don't believe in that we should be just asking and asking and asking and asking simply with the agenda to get somebody to say yes. Instead, take this philosophy. I want my team of people to be um, conversation starters and genuinely interested in the people around them. If you're genuinely interested, then that increases your chance for yes. How can you help these people? The more people you help, the more yeses you'll hear for either becoming a coach or for joining your team or whatever, or helping to hook them up with Shakeology or a workout. So how do you start conversations well, you could do it lots of different ways. Social media is great, texting, email, um, face to face. I always use the same kind of format. So I'm gonna share some tips with you. It goes compliment, ask a question, share something about yourself, and then give a tip. So, for example, on Facebook, I might personally message them and say, thanks so much for all your motivational pictures lately. Um, I, re I can see that you're training for a race. How's that going? So that's your compliment and your question. Or you can say, um, I really enjoy all the pictures of the kids that you've been posting. Keep going. You know, it's fun to see your life in wherever. Um, how, how do you like living there? So then they reply back and you share something about yourself. For example, the race scenario would say, yeah, when I was training for a race, I did blah, 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 and that seemed to help. Or um, something I struggled with when I moved to a new city was finding local groups to tap into. So on Facebook, there's usually some pages that you can connect with in your community, and that might help you give all the, the new 411 in the area you live. So you're sharing something about yourself. Also, you're giving a tip, so you can actually put those two into one. But the last thing I want, or I try to do, is leave them with some reason that um, to come back to you. Give them some value to their life of helping them on their journey. If it makes sense, this is a great time to say something like, have you heard about the Beach Body Challenge? And then share a video about it from the back office. Or, um, you're short on cash, man, have you ever thought about becoming a coach? It's really blessed my life and this is why. Then share a video about it from the back office or share somebody else's success story. Um, you can also say, one is, you know, like a tip like my fitness pal or get, sharing one of your favorite Facebook pages for them to follow or, um, a website that you like to find clean eating recipes from. Anything that's adding value to their life so that you are showing them that you care about them and that you're not just there to try to make a sell. Also, what this does is it's created a conversation so you know a little bit about what's going on in their life. So when you follow up, you'll have something to follow up with. Hey, did you ever watch that Beachbody video about coaching? Did, hey, did you ever log into whatever website and, and how, what do you think of their recipes? How is the race going? So you'll have something to come back with. The more you show that you care, the more that you show that you're trying to um, build a relationship with them, the more yeses you're gonna get because they're gonna trust you. And there's no better way for them to get to know what Beachbody is all about and if the products work than to see that how they're working in your life. All right, your challenge this week is to do this with 30, yeah, 30 people. I want you to track the names. I want you to have a follow-up date and what you're gonna follow up with. 
And at the end of the week, I want you to post it in our group of the 30 people that you started conversations with, either face-to-face, -face, email, text, social media, whatever. All right, have a good week. Let us know how it goes. Bye.